Well, I think we're going to eat different food in the future. If we just look at climate change, I think we do just have to eat different food in the future. And I think there are a few trends going on. First of all, people have a lot of belief in technology, which I think is interesting and very true as a future trend. But I also believe that technology really depends on the person who is actually behind the wheel steering that technology, what it could actually mean. And sometimes it seems as if people are focusing a lot on technology but not actually thinking about the eating human. Because actually we as humans, we eat and we have a food culture and we have stories we tell each other about food and we have things we believe about food. And I think that part actually, the cultural part, is something that we also need to develop very deeply. So how we actually perceive the true value of food, for example, I think this is something that will really determine what our future will look like. Helping people to make better food choices is very important. Uh, I think um, it is one of the things that can, designers can really help to work on. Uh, but I think another thing is on, only think about healthiness for food. It's very limited, I think. Food can be much more. I think we also just have to perceive food as what it really is. It is something that nourishes us, but it's something also that enriches our life in a sensorial way, in a human way, how we link to each other, how we deal with rituals, how we deal with our life in general, I think food plays a super important role in that and we could really explore that more. Things to watch in the future, I think, are farmers themselves. I think a lot of people focus on food that is already prepared or packed or in the supermarket or in retail, which obviously has a lot of innovation in itself, but I think the real innovation comes from farmers. And then I think looking at designers can also be interesting. I come from a design background myself and I think that designers can bring uh, a kind of outside of you on this uh, field and to bring kind of disruptive ideas that we do need right now. I think the things that are interesting to watch are how designers, for example, are working with microbes and bacteria. So chefs are doing a lot of fermentation lately, which is already a huge trend and I think it's super important. And then you see that designers also take that further and take it out of the kitchen and, and take it into people's homes or take it into the food system in a more broader sense. But also I think for the farmers, as we most like urban living consumers, they never really touch the soil, so you never actually touch bacteria in the soil. But actually those are the ones that you also need in your gut. So I think farmers have a really important um, link between this consumer um, and the soil that they actually work with. So um, there's a lot to discover there. I think um, sometimes design can be really simple. One of my designs that I make is putting objects on inside, well, between your food on top of your plate. So your plate looks fuller, but you eat less and you can play with those to actually make you pay more attention to the food itself.